Breaking up is hard. Dealing with a difficult ex can be even harder. It's tough to navigate life after a relationship ends, especially when your ex is uncooperative, hostile or hurtful. The emotional toll can be overwhelming. It's important to remember that you're not alone. Many people have faced similar situations and have found ways to cope. Many people struggle with similar challenges. Sharing your experiences with others can provide comfort and new perspectives. The key to successfully handling a difficult ex is twofold, managing your emotions and setting clear boundaries. This requires patience and self-awareness. Strong emotions can cloud your judgment and make it harder to make rational decisions. Taking time to calm down is essential. That's why it's crucial to find healthy ways to process your feelings. Physical activities like jogging or yoga can be very effective. Boundaries are essential for protecting your well-being. They help you maintain control over your life and interactions. They define what you will and will not tolerate from your ex. Being assertive about your needs is important. Clear boundaries create a safe space for you to heal and move forward. They allow you to regain your sense of self. Remember, you deserve peace and respect. Prioritizing your mental health is not selfish, it's necessary. Learning how to manage your ex and protect your emotional well-being is crucial for a happier, healthier you. Embrace the journey towards healing and self-discovery. Understanding why your ex is being difficult can be helpful, but it's not about making excuses for their behavior. It's about gaining insight into the underlying reasons for their actions. It's about gaining clarity and perspective, which can help you navigate the situation more effectively. Often difficult behavior stems from unresolved issues, emotional baggage, or a desire to control the situation. These unresolved issues can create a lot of tension and misunderstanding. Sometimes exes act out because they are hurting. Their pain might manifest as anger or frustration. They might be lashing out as a way of coping with their own pain and sadness. This lashing out is often a defense mechanism. In other cases, unresolved conflicts from the relationship can resurface and fuel current disagreements. These old wounds can make current interactions more volatile. It's also essential to recognize your own triggers and emotional responses. What sets you off? Understanding your own emotional landscape is crucial. What buttons are they pushing? Identifying these triggers can help you stay calm and composed. Knowing your triggers helps you anticipate and manage your reactions more effectively. This self-awareness can be a powerful tool. Remember, you can't control their behavior but you can control your own. Your response is within your power. By understanding the root causes of their actions, you can approach the situation with more empathy and less reactivity. This empathy can lead to more constructive interactions. Setting boundaries is crucial when dealing with a difficult ex. Boundaries are the limits you set on what you will accept from others. They protect your emotional, mental, and physical well-being. Start by identifying what behaviors are unacceptable to you. This could include constant calls, disrespectful language, or attempts to control your life. Once you've identified these behaviors, communicate your boundaries clearly and directly. Don't be afraid to say no and stick to your guns. It's okay to limit contact. Refuse to engage in arguments or walk away from unhealthy interactions. Remember, you teach people how to treat you. Here are some examples of healthy boundaries. I'm not comfortable discussing our past relationship. Please don't contact me after 9 p.m. unless it's an emergency. I will not tolerate being yelled at. Communication is key, even with a difficult ex. But it's not just about talking. It's about communicating effectively. This means being clear, direct and respectful, even when it's challenging. One effective technique is using I statements. Instead of blaming or accusing, focus on expressing your feelings and needs. For example, instead of saying you're always late, try I feel disrespected when you're late for our appointments. Active listening is equally important. When your ex is speaking, really listen without interrupting. Try to understand their perspective even if you don't agree with it. This can help de-escalate conflicts and find common ground. Avoid engaging in arguments or trying to win every interaction. Sometimes the best response is no response. 
Disengage from unhealthy conversations and choose your battles wisely. Section 5. Keeping your cool, managing emotions. Dealing with a difficult ex can be emotionally draining. It's easy to get caught up in anger, resentment or sadness. That's why it's crucial to prioritize your emotional well-being. Find healthy ways to manage your emotions. Exercise, meditation, journaling or spending time in nature can help you de-stress and process your feelings. Lean on your support system. Talk to trusted friends, family members or a therapist. Practice self-care. Make time for activities you enjoy. Prioritize your physical health and get enough sleep. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Take care of yourself first. When you feel overwhelmed, try grounding techniques. Focus on your breath. Notice five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Section six, when to call in the pro's professional help. Sometimes, navigating the challenges of a difficult ex requires professional help. Don't hesitate to reach out to a therapist, counsellor or mediator. They can provide guidance, support and tools to navigate difficult situations. Therapy can be beneficial for processing your emotions, developing coping mechanisms and improving communication skills. If you have children together, a mediator can help facilitate co-parenting agreements and minimise conflict. There are many resources available to help you find the right professional support. Your doctor, insurance provider and local community centres can provide referrals. Remember, seeking professional help is a sign of strength, not weakness. It shows that you're committed to your well-being and taking proactive steps to improve your situation. Section 7. Moving on and up. Personal growth. Dealing with a difficult ex can be a catalyst for personal growth. It's an opportunity to learn about yourself, strengthen your resilience and build a brighter future. Focus on your own goals and aspirations. What do you want to achieve in life? Channel your energy into activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Pursue your passions, develop new skills or explore new interests. Embrace this chapter as a time for personal growth and transformation. Use this experience to identify areas where you can grow and evolve. Perhaps you need to work on setting boundaries, improving communication or prioritizing your needs. Remember, you are not defined by your past relationships. You are strong, capable and worthy of happiness. Embrace the opportunity to create a life you love. Section 8 Letting go releasing past hurts. This section is dedicated to helping you understand the importance of releasing past hurts and how to effectively do so. Holding on to anger and resentment only hurts you in the long run. These emotions can weigh heavily on your heart and mind, preventing you from experiencing true peace and happiness. Letting go of past hurts is crucial for your emotional well-being and your ability to move forward. It allows you to create space for new, positive experiences and emotions. This doesn't mean forgetting or condoning their behavior. It's about acknowledging what happened and choosing to release the hold it has on you. It means releasing the negative emotions that are holding you back. By doing so, you free yourself from the chains of the past. Forgiveness is a powerful tool for healing. It allows you to reclaim your power and take control of your emotional state it doesn't mean saying what they did was okay. It means you are choosing to prioritize your own peace and well-being over the pain they caused. It means choosing to release the anger and resentment you're holding on to. This act of release can be incredibly liberating and empowering. This frees you from the past and allows you to move forward with a lighter heart. Practice self-compassion and be gentle with yourself during this process. Be kind to yourself and acknowledge that you're doing the best you can in a difficult situation. Self-compassion is key to healing and moving forward. It's okay to feel hurt, angry or sad. These emotions are a natural part of the healing process. Allow yourself to feel your emotions without judgment. Remember, healing takes time and patience. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress along the way. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory worth acknowledging. Section 9.
building a brighter future. You deserve a future filled with joy, love and healthy relationships. Don't let the negativity of the past overshadow your future happiness. Focus on creating a life you love, surrounded by people who support and uplift you. Invest in your relationships with friends and family members who bring positivity into your life. Nurture these connections and create a strong support system. Open yourself up to the possibility of new love. When the time is right, allow yourself to be vulnerable and take a chance on love again. Remember you are worthy of love and happiness. Focus on the present moment and appreciate the good things in your life. Practice gratitude for the simple joys and find beauty in everyday moments. Section 10. You've got this recap and encouragement. Remember, dealing with a difficult ex is challenging, but you've got this. By setting boundaries, communicating effectively, managing your emotions and seeking support when needed, you can navigate this situation with grace and strength. Prioritize your well-being. Take care of yourself emotionally, mentally and physically. Engage in activities that bring you joy, surround yourself with positive influences and seek professional help if needed. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Lean on your support system, reach out to a therapist or join a support group. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Now, I want to hear from you. What strategies have you found helpful in dealing with a difficult ex? Share your experiences and tips in the comments below. Your insights might help someone else who's struggling. 